Hey everyone, I'm Dark Quarter, and welcome back to the Stanley Parable. So, last time I... I thought there was something there. Um, All of his co-workers were gone. Last time what I was... Uh, Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Let's see. Perhaps he had simply missed a memory. With a few different endings. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace I, of his co-workers. See. What did I do last time? It was... Did I do the Zending? The one with all the flying lights and stuff that kind of looked like a rooftop or something like that? Uh, I know I did the... Well, I th did I do the... I think I did the Marielle ending, right? Did I do input last time? I did that already. I don't know. Um, anyway. When I know I did the museum ending, and that was kind of... The door. This was not the correct um, way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew... That was kind of lengthy. Perhaps he well, it was pretty cool seeing all first, sorts of behind-the-scenes stuff for the actual game, which was pretty awesome ah, to see. Yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all. Just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Yes. Yes, he did. Um, anyway. I was... Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly yeah. kept by anyway. eager to get back to business. Let's see. Stanley took the I was still trying to find out other head. endings that I can do. Did that one. Um, let's see. There was one I wanted to find out here because there was one with, um... You know, I did the, uh... What was it? The one with the, um... The mannequin thing? Right here on this platform. Or test your luck by jumping to the floor below. I already did that. You know what? Though. Looking at it now, it's not that far Does it... to the bottom floor. I bet you can make it. Does it come back? Five thousand dollars, really? I'm sure you'll survive the jump. Don't tell me you're scared. That's not the Stanley I know. Do it! 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 Uh, dude, I just can I call it back or something? Anything up still still can't jump. Um the it was like the Mariella. I think it was called the Mariella ending. I, I kinda looked up the endings, like the names of them, and um there, there was one that was called uh, the Mari Mariella, like an insane ending thing. And fine. Dumb, I, Whoops. Looks like I was wrong. How clumsy of me. Yes, of course I died. I know. I did it before, dude. Can't fool me. Just stealing whatever you started. Probably. Um, but the one with the mannequin is the one where you get to on the cargo All lift thing. Were gone. What could it mean? Just, yeah, Stanley whiteboard to go again. To the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed That's a memo. Right. Um, let's see. The office is different this way. Which is really weird. Let's see. Okay, here. When Stanley came to um, set of it was two down here. Door, this was not the correct way to the meeting. To go back to the cargo lift. Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to and stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Let's see. Let's see if it says anything different. Wow. Yes. I mean, I don't know if this I have to do this differently each time. Or... Room. What a gorgeous, I mean, I don't know if I have to go through room. this. Thank goodness Stanley had you know, this way this each time. On his way to the meeting room. Life without having experienced this Cause it seems like it's saying the stuff like I haven't done it before, but I did do it before, which is weird, but... Or maybe it's just recycling old stuff, I don't know, I'm just seeing if there's anything new, I guess. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly kept but yep. eager to get back to business. So I'm gonna go on the cargo the lift. First open door on his left. I guess there was something to be said about sometimes Stanley doing so something, like going backwards sometimes. Like, I actually 
I actually did want to see if there was something Stanley, that would happen if you didn't go on the cargo lift. And I'm not your enemy, really, it was no. different I than you know, just jumping off myself or going on the catwalk or going is, over the there. Story has been about nothing but, you. but there's something about the Mary Ella ending where Someone it's like you have to answer the phone, but I thought it was weird that there was like a cord going to the wall, but it was like a it was like an outlet thing. It wasn't a, you know, like a phone cord. Which isn't this is normal for that kind of phone. To to so, aside, I wonder if I can... Back into your life. I don't know if I can waiting. do something about that. That's her standing. Yeah, like this. Can I... The one. Oh, no, 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 you can't. Oh, yeah, I can unplug did it. Did you just unplug the phone? Now, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Apparently. Let me double check. Okay. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley right picks now. up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fate to I don't right. have a wife, you know that. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. Say what? How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. Wait, what? <sighs> I can't I'm a real person? I'm so mistaken. This is why you've been able to I'm make a real boy. incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though negated you completely what? ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. What? Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, what in this, this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. He could spend years helping improve Stanley. the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his house. Yeah. Which choice would you make? Remember that well. unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, plus fish. in all likelihood, that person is not real. Well, allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse sure you can why you cannot continue it. talking. Turn to a partner and Depending practice on. saying, My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. Are you... What? Uh, wait, what? Pra practice what? Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most trying medical to be eaten professionals by an recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices well, are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make more a significant than eight. contribution yeah. to the world, just remember that in the vast infinite of technically space, ever second is a choice. And problems are materially insignificant, and the feeling should subside. At this time, well, no, your instructor will guide you in an so. exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. I mean, it's kind of depends on where your ah, sense of welcome back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as what? a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good uh, decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see uh, what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Uh, well, Wait a minute. This I don't understand what is happening. Um Wait, what? Can I I'm What? 
though we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. I would not. I would never do that. Halfway through the story, that story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. I don't think you're... I, I don't agree with you, actually, but... Can I... No, can I get back on the loop? No, I can't. Oh, well, I mean, I can, but it doesn't do anything. Why is... I think it's fenced off now. Um, I'm going backwards. Oh, what? Almost there. You'll take the door on the left back to the correct ending. The story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. I... I will? This is... I... I mean, that... Uh, I... Now what? remember, Wait. all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Um. Can't. Can't. Wait. This is. Okay. Can't. Am, should I. I mean, was that in it? Did this end? Or am I. Should I. Was I supposed to. Yet there was not a single person here either. Was I supposed to go back belief, through the right door? Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. I can't open it this time. Huh. Okay. Well, coming to a staircase, a Stanley minute. walked upstairs to his boss's office. But wait, there's usually a choice of going down. And I can't. I can't go down this time. Is this... I... don't know. What is... Um... Wait, that's supposed to be the bathroom, but there's no sign on it. The boss is... the secretary's computer, sure. The, wait a minute. What? This is different. This stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned this is to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely, a voice this receiver. Door, all the answers this... to his questions, and beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. No. Was this the code to Wait, open what? the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. Okay, so it's Night Shark 115? Is that. Somebody's <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. The... He spoke it into the receiver right there on the wall. Right, but can I investigate the office first? Because this is different. I'm sorry, is what? there a problem? What? You didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial That's... step. Why? Okay, fine. You're not gonna do it, but you know what? 
It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single what thing is... for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to well, take a story seriously. Yeah, but... If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. Be what? Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. Um, <clears throat> when the... Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. All right. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, what? hurry back Wait in the other minute. direction. Perhaps we're not too late. This... This is messed up. What is this? One, two, three, question... Profile 6B... 7890... Okay. That's definitely weird. What... It, can I go back and... Does it... No, that's the same. Okay. I guess Sully... This is weird. Still weird. Oh, it's ruined. What? You, I can't believe after everything we talked about that you... My story! You've destroyed my work! Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed well, to do? Even if there were a way to continue, cool. would it be worth I mean... it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I, I have to live with it forever. Zoom in. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? Do not alter to without consulting whiteboard manager. I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. I have to. <laughs> Wait, what? Hey. What'd you do, man? I was... I mean, I'm still here. What the heck is that? I'm here. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. You. Who thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you run it into the ground. I didn't mean what, to. Did you think that would be funny? You just had to see? Yeah. Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He kind actually of, knows how to but... do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. Not really, that but... It hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you? You're a child. I doubt that. Oh. Well, I mean, I'm somebody's <sighs> child, story. but... Still, that's... If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. Well, I don't I think... I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard... I don't doubt it, but... Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. The... Wait a minute. What is this? Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Stanley, please. I I need you to make a choice. The end. I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening to me? Can you hear me? Is everything all right? Stanley, this is important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You can't be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. Do something. I can't actually see what Stanley looks like. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story needs it. So, you hear me? Are you there? Kind of. Are you listening to this, Stanley? Are you there? Okay. It's okay. I can wait. You need 
time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. Probably. That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. Well, I guess I can, but... Or not. Okay, I guess I'm back at the beginning. Someone was following Stanley. He was sure of it. If he checked over his shoulder now, he would surely catch them. It was only a matter of time. Aha. No. I'm just... Nobody's following me. I don't see anybody. I know that I did this computer before and there was like input. Yeah, it's like an input on it before. Um, so, I can't think of anything else to do on the, on the right, a set of two I guess. Doors, he entered the door on his left. Sure. There was something over here. Yet there was not a single person here either. On the left one. Feeling a wave of disbelief. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Did I? Yeah, I'm not gonna go through the broom closet thing again. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked up. So I know the one going down office. leads to the insanity ending. I don't need to do that. Anything on this computer? No. But then, let's see. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once See, again stunned three, four, to discover five, not I an believe. indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. No, I didn't. That Sorry. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music. He did. Why? Okay. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. That's open, yeah. Let's see, there was... The microtrol facility seems like... There's something else I could do there. There were those buttons. I never found all the buttons for that. I found like, what was it? One, two, one, two, three, five, maybe? Oh, there's a four. Oh, I never noticed the stairway. Let's see if I can do the buttons then. Let's see. No, that's three. Where's the one? Uh. Pushing all the buttons does something. Um, let's see. Where is... Where's the... Oh, here it is. One. Two. And then... Three was over here. And four is up there. I thought there had to be a four, but I didn't know where it was. Four. And no. Thought maybe there was a break in there that I could drop down, but there didn't. And then five it might be over there. Yeah. That's where it is. Five. Okay, I pushed all the buttons. But I guess it didn't actually do anything. Okay, then. Just wasted everybody's time. I think.
Can I escape? From... No, it doesn't do anything. Okay. So this leads to the freedom man, usually, but... And when at last he found the source okay. of the room's power... There are two buttons. He knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Okay. So I'm supposed to turn it off, right? But... If I do on... Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Yeah. Control? Possibly. Oh, Stanley. I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can yeah, do. Yeah, but it worked before, you right? You supposed to let it go. Turn the controls off and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode. Nobody told me about DNA identification. How long until detonation then? Say um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things okay. a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your um, heart's desires. How? Well, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes nice. off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going. What all this means, I barely code. know where to start. A code is a rule for you'd like to know where your code are. A piece of information amount of solace before you're obliterated. Into another all right, former I'm representation. You're gonna die anyway. I'll Just tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, what? I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone How does it sink into the ground? I, to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of so events has been rather one. amusing. But Watching there aren't any zeros. Everything ...and take back the control wrested away from you. It's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm uh, what sure if I whatever did... I come up with on the next go around will be even better. Five, two, one. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. Uh, you know what? To right. hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious sure. additional seconds, Stan. Time doesn't grow on trees. Well, it might. Oh, dear me. What's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing Five, right two, now? One, right? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it Great. off? I mean, look Wait at you. Running this... from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on hey. every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons. No, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button. Charge. Or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One soul? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Possibly. Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. What? But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still uh, playing see. instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment five. that you're powerless. I just five two one. Made humble. This is not a challenge. Sorry, one four two. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world. That's fine. Maybe. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Why? Take a look at the clock, Stanley. One. That's thirty seconds you have left to struggle. Thirty seconds until a big boom. Right. Nothing. No ending. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. Okay. And believe me, I hey. will be laughing at every second of your hey. inevitable life from the moment we fade in until it. the moment I say happily ever up. The 
Wait, was there a code I could uh, put in? I was gonna... Oh, I don't know. Uh, is there anything here? Oh yeah, there is something here now. Three. So there's... I must have to do this on different... Um... Wait a minute. I remember going in here before. That's... That's weird. Okay. Elevator. I didn't know there was an elevator. What is this? It's different. I remember doing this before. That's weird. I never actually saw that before, and I have no idea what that is. Let's see if... Yeah, the input thing is still there. Can I... Okay, I think we all... The drill? Do we? Can I... Can actually go back in. And that's locked. Okay. Is. Can I go back? Oh, yeah, the bathroom's open. I can go in here before. Money crisp? I. Okay, that's definitely weird. Um, right. But still. Can... I wonder if I can... No? Okay. I'm able to go... Why am I able to go back? I can never go back before. All these doors closed before. Right? Can I go to the... I can't go to the right. Okay. Am I... Am I going somewhere? Computers are... Okay. I usually can't. Oh, now this is open. That was closed before. Okay, now I can go back through this area. Can I go back? Okay. What's this? Okay, now where am I going? You are now leaving... I'm leaving? Escape pod bay... Escape pod? I can't attack the elevator. So, how did I get this 754? Do I actually have to go up... Probably. I'm gonna have to go up all these flights of stairs. No, nothing. Okay. Why is there an escape pod in a building? Can 
Can I actually escape? Or is that another red herring? Okay, four, three, two. Is that the same thing? I remember. Yeah, it's the same thing. Okay. Those numbers aren't actually changing. The well, I mean the floor numbers are, but not the the employee numbers. It's weird. Get my launch bay. Okay. Escape. I tried to escape before, but it didn't actually work. Am I going? Somewhere? Oh. Is this the escape pod? Well, wait a minute. Hello? A soft wind blew outside okay. and perhaps rain started. And if it did, it stopped shortly after. Stanley hoped that he would one day see weather. Oh, the, here we go. I was looking for you. Uh, can I? Yeah, here we go. I kind of looked for it last time, but I didn't see it. Okay, so there's one more computer I have to find. I think I had to do that every different uh, playthrough. Talked about. Wait a minute. Wind. Is that from. I mean, is there. Can I open a window? There's nobody to get on a desk, though. Wait a minute. Hey. Wait. Okay. Yeah, let me see. Can I... Oh, I can. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map, until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. It was? He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary I into did? the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. Okay. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take Outside a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Gag? No. Ah, then in that case, we'll continue. But now, here comes the real question. What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Do you think it would have been particularly different? Would I have taken the same idea, but rephrased it superficially to fit that answer? Perhaps you never would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. Oh, now think about it. Would it be worth it for you to restart and then come back here just to do the other option? Yeah. Clearly this whole gag takes some time. What if the other option is even longer? How long will you spend in total just to have heard all the narration? Oh, as long as I need switch, to, I guess. Perhaps you've just played the other option, and now you've come to see what happens in this one. So, what do you think? Which choice was the better one? Imagine if you well, I didn't actually do the other one yet. On your first playthrough, how tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. Indeed, you are one of the lucky ones. I am. Though if the other option is really miserable to listen to, then perhaps you're not. In fact, I'm just going to say that no one who's listening to this is lucky. Why not? Well, now, I've built up the other option so much that I'm going to stop talking and leave you to your decision whether to come back here, continue with the game, or just sit in this spot forever and ever. Cheers. Um... Okay. Do I have to restart? Is that what he means? Hmm. Guess I'm gonna restart then. Okay, now. Hey! Hey, it's. There's this one that's an input thing. Now what? Okay. Oh, 
Okay, this is kind of weird. I kind of want to leave, but... <sighs> okay, I think I have to start this over. Because this is weird. Well, this might be a long episode, I don't know. Because I did go through what I think is a few different endings. But I guess I'll figure it out when I go back through it. But I'm going to stop it here. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for being cool. And I'll see you next time.